Ephesians. Today I'm going to talk about the book of Ephesians. It is Paul's uh, pinnacle letter. He done three letters, Philippians, Colossians, and Ephesians. And these three letters complement each other, I believe anyway. Uh, Rob here, good morning. Uh, hope everybody had a good day yesterday. Um, I know I rant and raved yesterday about uh, certain things. I was a little bit frustrated yesterday, but uh, I managed to get through the day. Anyway, we're here today, and I feel good this morning, so I'm going to read something here that I found in Grace and Truth magazine. Um, it, it gives you kind of a good understanding of well, where Paul comes from in the book of Ephesians. Okay, the whole of the Bible, the book of Moses, the history of Israel, the teaching of the Lord Jesus, the early letters of Paul, the Roman epistle, all is preparing for one book. And that one book is Paul's letter known as Ephesians. Ephesians is first a group, uh, is the first of a group of three letters written by Paul from prison in Rome. The other two are Philippians and Colossians, and to some extent they form a commentary. Sincere believers of God's word have long recognized that the sublime truths written revealed in this letter raise it above all other writings. Read Ephesians. Read it over and over again until it becomes part of your consciousness. It is the only short book and can it is only a short book and can be read in 20 minutes. Though at first it might take longer, read it every morning. Read it whenever you have time. If you at present have no time to look at other scriptures, read Ephesians. As you read Ephesians, it will fix in your men it will fix in your memory and brighten your life. The evidence of its inspiration is shouting from the pages. What God reveals in Ephesians is beyond the ability of anyone to imagine. Statements such as verse 10 of chapter 1. You will recognize the language of grace in chapter 4. No commands, no threats, no, or warnings, no exhortation. Love can only entreat. Love is the motivation of our actions and the tie of maturity. On the next page, we print the first 12 verses. Read them again and again. God bless you, and that's what he will do. Okay, so I'm going to read chapter 1, verses 1 through 12 of Ephesians. And this is from the concordant version uh, of the scriptures. Um, I could bring it to you in uh, the King James Version, but that's watered down. And the translation is not good at all. Of course, in I will give you a couple of parts where I can explain how the King James Version renders it and how the Concordant Version render, renders it. Uh, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, through the will of God, to all the saints who are also believers in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who blesses us with every spiritual blessing among the celestials. Now, I'm going to stop there for a second. In the King James Version, it says heavenly places. I believe that uh, we should render it from its original translation, which is celestials. Okay, so with every spiritual blessing among the celestials in Christ, according as he chooses us in him, before the disruption of the world, we to be holy and flawless in his sight, in love designating us beforehand for the place of a son, for him through Christ Jesus, in accord with the delight of his will, for the laud of the glory of his grace, which graces us in the beloved, in whom we are having the deliverance through his blood, the forgiveness of offenses in accord with the riches of his grace, which he lavishes on us, in all wisdom and prudence making known to us the secret of his will, in accord with the with his delight, which he proposed in him, to have an administration of the complement of the eras, to head up all in the Christ, both that in the heavens and that on the earth, in him in whom our lot was cast also, being designated beforehand according to the purpose of the one who is operating all in accord with the counsel of his will, that we should be for the lot of his glory who are pre-expectant in the Christ. This is a beautiful book like it said there read it over and over and over again and, and and sear it into your mind because there there's where you're going to find peace 
there's not much peace out there, so I recommend this book for the avid reader of the scriptures and somebody who is interested in the truth and the word of God and our high calling in Christ Jesus. I love you all in the Lord, and we will see you tomorrow.